Hello seniors and welcome to the next video on how to enroll at Lane Community College. So the first video told you guys how to get through the LCC application and once you receive confirmation emails from LCC that say yay congratulations you're a Titan and you log into your MyLane account and you access your student email you have a few more steps before you can register for classes. So this is the second step. First, we are going to go to the Senior Seminar Google Classroom, and we're going to scroll down to the LCC Resources section. And if you click on this LCC Steps to Enroll Cheat Sheet, you'll get all the links you need for the next few steps. Okay, so we are on Course Placement Step 2. So you're just going to click on this link here. And it's going to take you to this page with a lot of information on it. Um, basically, a placement test or a placement survey determines what classes in math and reading and writing that you're eligible to take based on your skill level and past classes taken. So, for example, um, if you've only taken up to Algebra 1, they want to make sure that they put you in the right math class so you don't accidentally end up in calculus and are wholly unprepared for it. So, in order for them to determine what classes you are eligible to take, they take a lot of information into consideration. And a lot of us won't have to take the math, the actual math placement or reading or writing placement test at all. We're just going to start with this survey to find out our placement. So you're going to click this orange button down here that says complete the placement survey. We're going to scroll down and it's going to ask you a few questions down here. Have you completed an exam for advanced placement? So I'm going to just make up some answers here to show you guys, but you want to answer um, with whatever information is accurate to you. So if you have taken an AP exam, you'll click yes. But for this example, I'll just put no. Okay, so then high school grade point average or uh, high school math class completed. Do you have a high school GPA? Um, you can say yes to this one. I want all of you to put yes. So the next one is GED. Most of you will put no, you didn't take the GED test. Most of us didn't have a chance to take the SAT this year. And most of us during junior year didn't have a chance to take SBAC or Smarter Balance test. So the last one on here, prior algebra. So have you successfully completed an algebra course in high school in the last three years? So most of us for this one will put yes. And then we're gonna click this button down here that says start placement. Next. All right, so high school GPA. So yes, have you completed at least one term of your senior year of high school? Yep. Modified diploma. For most of you, the answer will be no, but put whatever information is most accurate for you and your situation. We all have a different high school experience um, to enter into this placement survey. Okay, high school grade point average, you'll be able to select from different ranges. Let's say you have a 3.0 or higher, just for an example. Okay, so here it will say last high school math course completed. So if you have finished Algebra 2, you would click that. Um, maybe you have other as well. Um, you can check multiple boxes here. Um, for most of us, we will have taken Algebra 1 and Geometry at least. Um, some of us will have taken College Now Occupational Math and you can click other for that. Um, for this example, I'm just going to click Algebra 2 and Other. So I'll hit Next page. So are you ready to see your placement? We're going to say Yes. Next page. Okay, so here you can see that it gives you placements. These are the lists of classes that you are able to take or the level of class you're allowed to take at Lane based on what classes you've taken in high school, your GPA, and all the information you just provided. So first, you can see writing placement is listed as writing 121, and your math placement is listed as math 105, 106, 107, 111, or 211. So this means that you're able to take um, any of these classes here when you register. So after you get your placements, you might want to jot them down, but then you're also going to continue through this survey. So um, if you want to improve your math placement score, you can say that yes, you want to take the actual test, or you can say no, or I'm not sure. You could talk with an um, LCC advisor about that. 
So we'll scroll down. And we're going to hit next page. Make sure you keep going with this. Don't just stop. So prior college credit. Have you earned prior college credit in writing and or math? So if you guys have taken um, writing 121 uh, with Ms. Kephart, or maybe you've taken college now occupational math, you'll select yes here. If you haven't, you'll select no. Okay, so just for an example, I'll put no. But you guys want to make sure you put whatever's accurate for you. And then we'll hit next. And then here's the most important part. In order for this to count, in order for LCC to know that you did this step in the steps to enroll, you have to log in. So you'll put your uh, L number here, your name, date of birth, email address, and phone number. And then you're going to hit submit. So once you type this in and hit submit, it will record that information in your MyLane account so that you are able um, to check the box that says, yes, I've done the placement testing or the placement survey. And then we can move on to the very next um, steps to step to enroll in the list of steps to enroll uh, in classes at LCC.